Howdy, oh, what do you know? This is Rabbit of Scrub Lead Academy, and we are back in Dungeons and Dragons Online. Well, kind of. At the moment, Carter's just lounging in our airship cargo hold, preparing for his next exciting brush with death, and having a staring contest with a nine eyed beholder, that is. This is more of an introduction than anything an introduction to the monster manual and why you should farm it. So, what's so special about this thing? Well, I'm glad you may have asked, relevant audience members, so let's go through these one by one, character and account, because the rewards are actually very enticing, and even affect gameplay to a certain extent. So, rewards are specific to the type of volume, from the freely granted prologue to volume 7, the most recently released volume in the manual. I'll include a link in the description about where to find this stuff out, though we will get into that in a bit. But first, a bit of a breakdown. So, you see there are two different symbols on both the Character and Account Deeds sections. These represent different kinds of deeds, different Slayer challenges you can undertake. Some of them require you to kill multiple different types of monsters, they're called Hunter Deeds, while others will have you just slaughtering vast swarms of that creature. These ones are Exterminator Deeds. In these guides, I'm more focused on figuring out places for the second type of deed, but quickly Google searching for monster manual entries about the creature type you need will help you find things for your hunter deeds, if that's all you need. So what's the difference between character and account deeds, Mr. Rabbit? Oh, you and your questions, my young disciple. Don't you fret, though. I got you covered. Because it's not that they both just give experience points and that's it. Nah, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Let's check them out, shall we? Character Deeds grant your character experience values, and these can be collected repeatedly with every new reincarnation and each individual character. So, when Carter's topped up all his bat farming, I, Rabbit, can simply log on some other dude and get experience for that character as well, since his character deeds haven't been affected at all. Account Deeds are where things get really interesting. Account Deeds unlock lore about the creature in particular, typical stats for a monster of that type, and even unlock numerical hit point values for those who just like a little math in their life. Some creatures like Bats and Beholders even grant you companion pets when you accomplish certain Account Deeds. Finding your own Beholder pet to leer at is a simple massacre away. In terms of rewards, Account Deeds offer bonuses in the form of Mysterious Remnants, a special currency that binds to your account and can be used to purchase a bunch of cosmetic and character enhancing buffs, the Premium Astral Shard currency that gives access to the Astral Shard Exchange Auction House, among having other uses in-game, special jewels that increase the value of your random generated loot, and Dito Points to help purchase things in the in-game store, giving another source of points aside from favor grinding. The Monster Manual basically generates a bunch of special monies that are otherwise tough to obtain or require you to pay real money, so with it, you can actually go free to play and let it generate some extra goodies passively for you. That said, when you get a reward in your account deeds, one of these squares will begin to glow with a pretty little outline, and you have to actually click on it in order to receive the reward. Since everything binds to account, pets of course binding when you add them to your stable, it really doesn't matter which character you redeem account deeds on. Character deeds, on the other hand, always apply when the deed has been completed, so you don't really have to click these, just take the XP and run. A bit of a quick video, but it's good to show off what you can get out of the Monster Manual. In the following videos, I'm going to go into the best areas I've found to farm out large amounts of each creature type, so keep watching if you're still stuck on what to do and where to go. That said, I'm going to get up out of here, but you take care now, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.